Hey guys, thanks for tuning back to Tim's Turbos. Wanted to go over a few different things on balancing again. A lot of people are asking me with the billet wheels, cast wheels, and if they get them brand new in the box, are they balanced? The question is, yeah, most of the time when they're brand new, they are balanced. But I'm going to show you the difference between actually a true balance and something that's just thrown together. Now, this rotor group has already been pre-balanced. I did the inner and outer plane. Same with the compression wheel and the shaft is straight all the way up to three ten thousandths of an inch. So I'm just going to go ahead and assemble a little, little rotor group. This is a, basically a T28 Garrett turbocharger. I'm going to throw it on the balance machine and show you the basic setup. This is a tabletop TC3. It's a great machine. I use it all the time. I got the lights off so hopefully it won't affect the machine too much. So the first thing we do is make sure everything's spinning freely. And then what we're going to do is put a known weight on the compressor. So this is usually just over a couple grams on that weight. Now it's picking it up a little bit. You need to speed up the rotor speed. Pay attention to the gauge. The weight comes up as the speed comes up. We go to the second level of the gauge. And you see it's putting the weight at 12 o'clock. So what it's doing is every time it feels an impulse of weight, it takes a picture, just like a timing gun, pretty much. So now that we have a known imbalance on there, remember, this is a balanced rotor group. These are all fresh parts. Check it. It's off the scale on the first one. That's an imbalance. It's a major imbalance. So just to go and show you what happens when you can shift it 180 degrees. See what it is again. Still pretty high. Do another shift. It's getting down there. Yeah, let's back up again. But basically, this is just to show you that's getting close. What we want is basically one. So we would grind the spot. That line right there is saying it's the heavy spot. So I'd take and grind a little there to lower the weight down. Now the turbine side, it says it's on balance. But if we put a known weight in there, even though we're not messing with the turbine side at all, it will still pick it up. See how it puts it off the chart? You can kind of go to the second level. It basically reads all the way out. I explain more on how the balance is set up, but basically this is just to show you that when you put a brand new wheel that's even balanced on a fresh rotor group, it can be completely out of balance. And most of the time, the issue isn't quite the balance. It's really when you break the turbocharger down, there's imperfections between the thrust collar, that compressor wheel. It could be an imperfection of the bore, the lock nut. When you tighten it down, it could bend it a half of a thousandths and that'll throw it ten times out of the weight balance. So all these little things you have to compensate to make sure that you build it properly. So thanks for watching the video. I'll get some more good ones coming.